our Spot On Restoration event. And this time, we bring you three pre-restores, 2000 Jordan 6 Infrareds, black version, a 1991 Jordan 6 white infrared, and a 1991 September Blue Jordan 6. Also, we bring you a sole review from the previously worn Jordan 6 1991 Carmine. So, we bring you back with another Kruger Store Soul Swap on the 2000 Black Infrared 6s. As you can see, the shoe has already been prepped for a midsole swap. Midsoles has been cleaned out and basically ready for regluing. As well as a donor. The donor has been prepped for first coat of painting. And for all those asking what donor did we use, we used a Jordan 6 Oreo. As you can see with a specific pair, it has major sway damage. The thing about that, there is no way you can fix suede Durabuck or other specialty leather once they have been cracked, scraped off, or scuffed. The thing about this is the only way to actually repair suede damage is to actually transplant a new toe box by cutting the fresh one out and replacing it on top of it. So you will not see any leather fixing on this. So the next stage that this is gonna be Reglue. And think about that, Sixes doesn't need a toe box restitching, so there will be no simulation in here. Another thing that we want to stress out is that when you are gluing suede or any kind of special leather that is very delicate, getting glue around the seam areas or basically in the midsole corners is going to cause deterioration. So be ready to see some collateral damage when you're gluing with specialty suede. Next, we also bring you another OG pre-restore, and this one is from 1991. As you can see, the specific colorway is the white infrareds, very famous colorway, and this specific shoe is only coming in for an upper leather fixing. This is not, I repeat, not going for a midsole swap, so for all people asking, why is the midsole paint different? Why is it a little weird? Then this is only going for an upper's leather fix. Another thing about the specific shoe, you can see two types of oxidation. The back side panel heel tab will be slightly more yellow than the front side panels and toe box. The thing about this is that over time, a special kind of leather is a little thicker on the back panel. That's why it oxidizes more than the side panel and front toe cap. So for the restore process of this, it's basically gonna be intricate painting of the uppers and reconditioning and repolishing to make it back to its original color. This specific pair very special to me since I've been trying hard to actually find one ever since. And as you can see, this is the September Blue, or most commonly known as the Sport Blue, Jordan 6 from 1991. And finding a pair like this is really hard to come by, especially in a good condition. Unfortunately for this pair, when I got it, it had crumbled midsoles. It was never touched and it was never prepped. So whatever you see, is what it came like. Of course, the shoe was fully saran wrap. And a big warning to everybody who wraps their shoes in a plastic covering. It is a big, and I stress, a big no-no, especially when you're dealing with vintage sneakers. One is that the leather needs to breathe. You just basically will cause more damage sitting one place when it's saran wrap causing more damage to the leather. Also, 
what it does, it constricts the shoe. It shrinks it over time. So it'll be a tight fit if you ever try to get it restored or sole swap. So you can see part of the midsole is still basically in the wrap. And the thing about that is that it's the only thing that's holding the pieces together. If we took this off, it literally would just crumble away little midsole pieces. And basically this will have to happen for the cleanup. But for now, since we are still waiting for a donor for this specific pair, we are gonna leave it at this for the moment. Um, another big problem that we're gonna be facing with this specific sole swap is that we don't have the original paint to basically match. Uh, as you can see, it had pretty much just oxidized out and just crumbled away. The paint had faded long, long before the midsole had actually degraded. So there is no way we can actually laser laser matched paint for this. But on that note, I do have a couple buddies that do have the original midsole pieces for September Blues and with their help, would be able to actually get a one-to-one -one color match for the Sport Blue on this specific pair. And now we take you to the sole review for 1991 Carmines. And the thing about this specific pair, this to me is considered my personal favorite or what everyone say, my grails. The thing about this is that this specific pair I've been wearing for around, I'd uh, say 35 times now. But when I first got it, it had severe damage to the toe box. So you can see, it's still very, obvious that it really had a bad suede problem. I get a lot of comments saying, why is it shiny? Why is it, you know, it looks like the leather is different. It looks like something was done to it. Well, the thing about that, we actually tried to re-dye and wax the suede to prevent any more cracking. But the problem, every time you wear vintage sneakers, there is always gonna be a lot of collateral damage. So every time I wear the specific pairs, the cracking on where the leather has deteriorated just continues to basically spread hairline cracks around the suede. And also with that is, as the glue hold on the suede begins to deteriorate as well, some minor, minor separation occurs, but can't complain this is one of my favorite. when this pair came to me it did not have an original box nor did it have its lace locks and a lot of people out there I know yeah it's crazy to spend you know extra top dollar on just accessories for the shoe but if you're considered a collector which I myself I consider myself a collector is you pay top dollar to complete the set of the shoe in other words the box hang tags flight club brochures, paper, lace locks, and I just, to me, I just gotta have it. So I did find a replacement lace lock, so that you can see it has Nike on it, and as well as a Jumpman. You can see the back attack. Nike Air had a little uh, thread damage, so we had to repaint it. There was no other way to save it. Uh, I tried my best to actually hand paint it to the point where you know it actually still preserve the details of the it. thing about the shoe is that we did a leather condition and leather repaint so you won't see as much yellowing as you would from specific pairs so you can see with my September blues there's quite a significant amount of yellowing 